Alright, hi guys. So, um, I do have a um, tutorial on these eyes, but I just changed up the lips. But today's video is all about OPV brushes. I am finally here with my review, and as I've said before, I mean, th this packaging I think makes so much sense. Oh, no, so. This packaging makes so much sense. It's not even funny. It's unreal. I love how I love the quilted. I love the little checker details on the zip, and I love the fact that they have the the brand right here. OPV brushes, so cute. So um, it zips around perfect for travel and the brushes are held in here now as you can see i took my brushes out because i actually did my um makeup earlier on today and i um washed the brushes so you guys are going to be seeing clean brushes today thank god so it has one two three four five i would say five face brushes but I'm going to try another one. So it has this angle, and I'm and I'm going to tell you what I use um, each brush for. So this is the angle brush, and I use this to do my low lighting and only my low lighting or contouring, as you guys say. This is a rounded brush, and I'm getting some hairs. Oh no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, so it's a rounded brush, and I use this to apply foundation, blush, um, highlight, powders, um. It's a foundation brush. I use this to blend out my brow bone. I also use this to blend out my color correcting. So I use this to blend out my color correcting, the orange thing I always put on before. And then this flat top brush, which is one of my faves. Um, this one I use to apply my powders, my my um, powder to set my highlight and my powder to set my all over face. And I use this as well for my blush, highlight, and um, yeah, all over face this one came um on the the side that all the face brushes were on and then these eyebrushes came on the other side that the eyebrushes were on so i i, I think they meant to for this to be like a face brush so i use it to just go down the sides of my nose blend out anything under my nose sometimes i go to my brow bone but mainly i used to do um my low lighting for my nose so. all right so these are the eye brushes from opv brushes they and they don't have any like names on them they just have the the, the brand so gold handle black feral and um synthetic bristles and they have the brand opv brushes on each brush so this one i use for my what do you call it lid <laughs> i use it for my lid sometimes i turn it a certain way and go into my crease it's for my brow bone and then turn it a certain way and i take it into my happy area right there this one is like the phone the brush that i used to do whatever i never ever ever in life use this brush ever 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 and this one of course um is a spool that i use to do my brows and i only use it to do my brows then um this brush is similar to this one right here so this one I just showed it that do my um, lid color and stuff. This one is similar but just smaller. This one is smaller here and this one I use as well to go on my lid. Now this is smaller so this fits on my lid perfectly. This one I use when I want my lid color to go up a little bit into my crease so it's easier to blend. So that's that. Then I use this one for my outer V. It's a very weird shaped brush. It's a very weird, I was trying to take a piece of hair out, but it's not coming out. Uh, it's a very weird shaped brush. It's on an angle, but it's fluffy. So I use this only to go into um, my, the outer um, edge, the, the outside of my eyes for my dark colors, like my navy blues, my blacks, my really dark browns. So this is what I use this brush for, because to put on the, the lid, you can use it to go on the lid, but I prefer to do it on, out on the crease. And this one, these two are dome brushes. Here and this one is smaller. So this one I used to do my blending work right on the edge. And this one I use definitely for a crease brush to get right in there to kind of deepen that piece a little bit. And I also use it to, to, um, to apply color right here to my happy area as well. 
we we'll have two more these are some small brushes this one is like a lip brush but I use this one to apply color right um, on like some really tiny areas of my eyes like on my lash line when I want like a precise color I use this I don't use it to do, to do my gel line or no line or not this is straight eyeshadow and for this of course you know this is the angle brush and I use this to do my brows and my brows only so this is the complete set all packaged this is what they look like I'm just so in low like this for me sold me now let's talk about the quality of the brushes I think the quality of the brushes are really 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 good I do however think that it's kind of more like for beginners um, and I said that because I would like more versatility in the listen to me <laughs> Ah, oh. <laughs> um, I, and I'm saying that because I'd like more versatility when it comes on to the eye brushes because some of them I didn't know what to use them for and I just improvised. But even though it wasn't as versatile as I'd prefer it to be, I could still do what I wanted to do with it. You know what I mean? It wasn't as versatile, it didn't have certain brushes I'm very accustomed to, but I could I still do what I want to do with it. And that's what I like about brushes in general. You know what I mean? I mean, even though it's like, what the hell am I going to use this for? You always find a use for it. Always, 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 always. For the face brushes, um, this one, which one? Which one? Yeah, they, I used to use this to apply my foundation. So this one here, it soaks up a lot of products. It's either that, no, no. I really think it's the the foundation that I'm using. The I think it's Pro Longwear. Yo, I'm wearing it today. First of all, Pro Longwear, true to the name. It's a side note. True to the name. I'm not wearing any primers. And ever whenever I'm filming, wearing my um, Pro Longwear or most of my foundations, I don't wear any primer at all because manawa go that way. Manawa is no primer. And what's your primer? You know how much your primer? but um yeah so i'm not wearing any primers at all and i fix plus to my face so you know it has that dewy look and it's still there now i i mean thumbs up for the pro and i have a i'm going to review the pro long wear after this let me just stop talking right now but yeah so this soaks up the product and it just it's just a bum and it's not just this brush alone i was I started using my Marc Jacobs brush and the product was just getting lodged in there and that annoyed me. So I'm not going to fault the brush, I'm going to fault <laughs> the foundation, I'm sorry. But anyway, yeah, so this is really, really good for your um, foundations, your liquid foundations. Um, but I would, if you have, if you're using stick foundations, because you know I used to use a black opal stick foundation, really good as well. These brushes here are excellent. Any one of them at all? Let me just put these back in. Any one of them at all you're using on these face brushes, they're good for creams, mousse, um, whatever the texture is because of the bristles. I think um, they call them vegan or synthetic, but it's not natural hair. So I mean, the, it's very, very soft. It is very. It, I don't know it's 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 nice I like it but I'm not really in love with it because there are certain brushes that I would personally like to for it to be for it to be in there but that's, that's not in there there are certain brushes that I'm accustomed to that's not in there but just because you know I don't want to say it's horrible because of my personal preference but from a quality let's take it from the quality perspective from a quality perspective yeah yeah, them shot, them shot, them shot. Now, I think this site is a UK based site because their prices are quoted in pounds. So, um, yeah, them shot still. From a quality perspective, them shot. In terms of design, I, I love how they kept the gold here and then the gold here. I mean, that, that's nice as well. So, it's like you know what you're reaching for when you're reaching for it. See me? And again, this zip around. Excellent for traveling. Throw it in a travel bag, throw it in your suitcase, and you're good to go. So, now let's talk about um, like how, how I would rate it. In terms of um, quality, the brushes are of good quality. They, they were shedding when I um, when I applied my makeup because I didn't wash them. So for and I wash them and they're not shedding. Um, I just see some hair sticking up, but they're not coming out of the ferrule. I mean, they're not breaking away from the rest of the bristles. I'm so I'm staying right there. I'm really thinking hard, right? So um, for the overall quality, I would give it an. 8.5 yeah 
because it's not bad as i said it's really good for beginners or if you're just starting out in a makeup um makeup artist journey definitely grab it up because it's so easy to just zip up throw in a kit and you go and it's not as bulky as the two ones like this you know what I mean? Sometimes I can hardly find space, but with that, it's so flat. You just put it in your um your case, your makeup case. Now, in terms of what I would like to see, you guys know how I feel about that. I mean, I, there's just certain things I would like to see, and um, I'm not going to get into that because if you follow me, if you follow my new Instagram, Pull Me by Lyric, you know why I'm thinking like this, and you know why um I'm no is I, I'm. I'm, I'm I'm like details when it comes on you know to certain things and I'm like hmm but does it do this but does it do that um, but yeah but overall though overall yeah it's a really good investment overall you're getting what you pay for you're not paying for crap you're not paying for um, a lower quality the brushes are, are, are the brushes themselves are of good quality and yeah I don't have nothing bad to say about the company at all I didn't experience any horrible customer service um, shipping was good they shipped to Jamaica so yeah yep that's basically it for this review thank you so much you guys for sticking through this long and i'll talk to you guys in my next video and thank you opv brushes for sending me your brushes to review Mwah. bye guys